and welcome to this week's newsletter. First of all, congratulations to the winners from last weekend's club championship. Um, so, ladies club champion, Gross, uh, Chris Lees, well done Chris. Uh, ladies net club champion, uh, Diane Hartland. Men's club champion is uh, James Denaus. Uh, we don't have a men's net club championship anymore for various reasons. So, uh, well done to the winners and everybody for taking part. Obviously, the course wasn't to everybody's liking. The fairways are firms, a few dodgy bounces, uh, a few tricky pin positions. But thank you to the green keepers because they did work hard trying to get that course in preparation uh, for, uh, for last weekend, even though everybody probably didn't appreciate it. Now, a um, couple of things on the course uh, this week that's been happening, uh, Tim and the team. Uh, we've got an extra man helping us out. Some of you may well know him. Uh, Tom Lennon now is helping us out during the summer. Um, just to help cover staff's holidays with the green keepers. Uh, he's doing a great job so far. He's, I think he's enjoying it. Um, so it is enabling uh, Tim and the team to start to get an extra couple of jobs done on the course. Now, Greens, uh, pencil time this week. You can barely see it. Um, but if you did play Wednesday, apologies, there were some very slight pencil times in the Greens. Uh, and then a light top dressing of sand that's been brushed in. Um, need to try and do that every month if we can to try and get this sand into the greens which certainly helps us keep these greens on all winter uh, so it's most important um, so they've done that um, they've also put a wetting agent on the greens now a wetting agent spray the greens is wetting agent and um, because otherwise when the greens get firm like this now uh, and you irrigate them the water just runs off or if it rains it just runs off the green so the wetting agent allows the water to soak into the green so the greens retain the moisture better Okay, so I've caught up with these three on the ninth green. Um, so Joe, obviously practicing for Saturday for yeah. the charity challenge. Um, Luke, well, you're obviously practicing <laughs> after still, Sunday's still club championship still round, but we won't talk about that. Uh, and you're obviously back off tour for a couple of weeks. Yep. Next event, Scotland in two weeks time. Got Scottish Open two weeks time. Yep. Where's that? Dun Donald. Donald links. Okay, right. What we're going to talk about a bit is. Obviously, this time of year, we get everybody saying, oh, need to water to the greens more, the ball's bouncing on. Well, it, it, I mean, I've just watched you lot play shots into there, and they've all pitched and stopped within about six inches. Well, yours didn't, because you had to run it at the trees, Joe. But you two, <laughs> um, ball stopped really nicely. So the greens are soft enough, they are receptive. But what do you need to make sure? There's some certain things, isn't there? You need to make sure, obviously, the ball makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. But you, do you all use... Pro V's. Yeah, yeah, Pro so soft to cover, isn't it? Grooves. Back to the clean. Clean, clean grooves. Okay. Um, makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, not a good example. <laughs> but but um, tour players, you obviously, you know, if you watch the tour players and the balls are checking up, the, the, the men obviously change their wedges every. Three months? No, every no, month. Every month. Every month. Yeah. Every month. Because they can. Because like, there'll be a van on site every week, so when they. If they're a bit harder to get at the moment because. Manufacturers still don't have yeah. the supplies they used to, um, but still every month the guys are getting new wedges. Not quite so easy for the ladies, is it? You, no, 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 no. So I, I'm, I've got some arriving in the next couple of weeks. So, so you I'll have, a... have two sets during the year, okay. which for me it's enough. Because those grooves do lose the sharpness, don't they? After yeah. a sort of a few rounds, um, so the grooves make a difference. Make sure they clean the ball um, and technique. Really, that's what you've got to strike it, haven't you? If, you, if you're not yeah. striking it. The ball's not going to stop. You get away with not striking it in the winter when the greens are soft and the ball's stopping. But this time of year, you've got to get a nice strike. So let's finish off quicker. Yeah, you can play this one. So if you was going to play it off a tightish lie, because there's lots of tight lies. Yeah, I'm trying to find a tight but nice lie. There. So would um, your club make a difference now? You. Yeah, so obviously you've got quite a bit of green to work with here. So I don't have to try and fly it over anything. So I'm going to use my 54 degree. Um, because that, in simple terms, has got a, a narrower angle that's going to hit the ground compared to a 60. So that's what we call the bounce. So you got, we won't and go into great deal sales today, but you'll use a club with less yeah. bounce today because you don't want it to bounce off that hard surface, yeah, do so you? Yeah, so if you've got a variation of wedges, have a look for the one that's got the, the narrower angle that's going to hit the ground, and that's better off tight lies. Okay, go on then. And, and technique, you'd change that a little bit, would you? It, again, because I don't have to get it high, just put it back in my stance, because um, I want to hit the ball first. So a, bit, so a bit nearer that, that right foot. Yeah. One thing we always say, look how narrow those stands are. Probably not a great camera angle, but feet are only very close together. We see lots of amateurs with wide stances trying to chip in. It's very difficult to get that nice strike. So a little yeah. bit of weight, weight on that left side as well. Forward a bit as well. 
and you could just see that check up a little bit there you go not bad so you can get the ball to check up on these greens it's bad technique and probably down to dirty grooves and a cheap ball <laughs> as well uh, so you've got lots of excuses we are watering them uh, right, thanks guys. I'll let you uh, get on with it. Good luck in the Scottish Open. you got a Euro Pro event coming yeah, up? Yeah, next week at the Vale. Okay. Sure. And you're back to work at Golf Breaks next week? Booking everybody holidays? Booking everyone's house holidays. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> well, enjoy your time oh, down thanks. there, mate. So this week's event's brought in partnership with Driving Auto Centres. Um, just a couple of things. First of all, uh, ladies friendly match against Stabridge at home on Monday. Uh, convincing win for the ladies, so well done. Great to see as well. Uh, a lot of ex-academy ladies playing in the team there. Uh, which was brilliant to see. So well done, ladies, for that one. Uh, look forward to hearing uh, how you get on in the next match. Uh, seniors, I, I haven't got the result yet for that. Um, so better ball medal on Tuesday. Right, coming up, uh, Captain's Day. So the re this was meant to be charity weekend. Uh, it's now been split a little bit. So we've got Captain's Day on the Saturday, which was rescheduled from a few weeks ago because of the rain. Um, sheets up in the, on the notice board in the lobby. There's a few spaces left for some teams and some individual players in teams. So, so even if you're on your own and you fancy a game, um, come and put your name down for that. And that's normally a great day. And then on the Sunday uh, is the charity uh, day, part of the weekend. Team event, again, the sheets up in the lobby. There are some spaces left still. Um, again, I think there's a few, even if you're on your own or as a pair, uh, you can join up with another, uh, with another group. Uh, Good day, followed up by, in the afternoon, Phil Sayer and the All-Stars uh, playing music on the patio from 1.30 onwards. And Phil's done that over the last couple of years as well. So those that haven't been or have been know how good an afternoon it is. The sun looks like it's going to shine. So come down, even if you don't play uh, in the charity day on the Sunday, come down, bring the family down, have a drink, something to eat. Remember, that food's amazing now in the kitchen. Great value as well. New menus out. Uh, prices have been slashed just to try and get people coming back down and eating again. So uh, some great food at great prices and some good music as well. Right, so we're on the fourth tee with Joe. So most of you know Joe. Joe Price, obviously back working at the golf club now, Joe. Yeah. Um, just a couple of days a week in between playing. So you're still playing a lot, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so still Pro? playing Euro Pro. Yeah, quite a bit. Um, but this is your chance to beat him this weekend. So you did it. Was it last year? Yeah, I did last year. Yeah. Last year, so Very successful. beat the Pro Challenge uh, for a good cause as well. So it's on on the sat this Saturday. So it's on Captain's Day at home, which would have normally been the charity Saturday, because um, you're working on Sunday, aren't you? So you've got to do it on the Saturday. Right now, how's it going to work? So you've got to bring a fiver. You're going to stand on here all day long, aren't you? All day long. So obviously the group will come up to the tee, obviously opt in or opt out, five pounds, and then the group can decide whether I go first or whether the group goes first. So it's five pound per player for anybody who wants to challenge you. Yep. So, and then if they beat you, if they knock it nearer than you, yep. they go into a draw, don't they, at the end of the day? Yeah. So let's say there's 10 people beat you. Mm -hmm. Those 10 people go into a draw. They go into a draw for first, second and third okay. cash price. And it's So all that cash that's built up uh, during the day, percentage of it goes to the captain's charities. Yep. Uh, and then the the other percentage, I'm not sure what percentage it is, whether it's 50-50, but the other percentage will go to uh, the winners and there'll be a draw. Yep. So if only one person beats you, Joe, so if you get your act together and one person beats you, they'll get a, a nice substantial nice amount of money. Check. Right. There's somebody coming up the third. Damn. <laughs> right, let's have a go. Now, I would challenge you. Well, I'm going to challenge you, but I haven't got a fiver. Oh, me. I've got it. My credit's good, Joe, with you. <laughs> So it's, you've Joe's just measured it. It's 160. 160. I'm not downhill. sure where the T's exactly going to be, but downhill. It's got an eight iron. We will try and put the pin. We will try and put the pin in position where we can actually see it on uh, on Saturday. At the moment, it's tucked round the corner on the right hand side. No, okay. Joe's going to use the slope on the left there, maybe. Better get what another am club. I doing? Fortunately, you're right, Joe. They can't see where it went. <laughs> I'll tell you. It was a good shot, Joe. Oh, that's <laughs> close. <laughs> ah, come on. That's it. Right. No glove again. Look. Really... I'll try not to lose your ball, Joe. It's your ball. As well, <laughs> it? Looks nice, new one as well. <laughs> Oh, God. 
that on the green as well. That's <laughs> great shot that. <laughs> Full foot. <laughs> there you go. See if you can do better than no shot Saturday, Jake. Um, have a great day. Thank you. Keep out the sun because it's going to be a bit warm on uh, on Saturday. So uh, make sure you bring your fivers with you when you get to the 40. Hand it over to Joe if you want to challenge him. Uh, and you never know, you might get one of those lucky shots that gets inside him. Thanks, mate. No and we'll let you know who wins next week. Perfect. Just to finish off this week, quick uh, look in the lobby to see what's coming up in and around the, uh, the golf club. There's a Seniors Invitational Open. I think that's the first time we've had this one. Certainly, I think, since I've been here. Right, it's on Tuesday the 16th of August. It's not just open to seniors. Uh, stick your name down on there if you want to play. Uh, shotgun starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. All the information's on the sheet there. Four golfers, uh, we will get those on. Uh, the guys that did 100 holes in a day uh, for a very good cause, or a couple of good causes, um, a few weeks ago. We'll get them on to see what, uh, how much they raised. Uh, now, the Black Country Road Run, if you're feeling fit, um, Sunday the 24th of July. Uh, it's obviously Roundhouse Home, 10K Road Run. Um, and then there's also in the afternoon a family fun run walk as well. And the relay batons arriving by the looks of it at 1.39. So, uh, good day down in House Own on the Sunday the 24th. So, uh, enter that if you fancy doing a quick run on a Sunday morning. Now, uh, members draw night, that's uh, the next draws. There's been a bit of a change this month. So, the next one is on. Hello, Dan. Hello. Um, the next one is on. Uh, Thursday the 24th. Thursday the 21st of July, the next draw night. Now, um, he can't be here all the time, but our president, if he was here at the last one, would have won £275. So unlucky, yeah, John. Right, uh, we've also got there, so put your name down on that, that's um, inter-club county competition. Uh, David Merck Derm at the Bowl, it's at Starbridge, I think. Um, August 16th, put your name down on that if you want to play in that. All the information about that is on there. Um, ABBA, who doesn't like a bit of ABBA, um, Saturday the 30th of July, ABBA Tribute Band uh, group on. Um, I think it's sold out. Speak to Paul Skeldon, just in case it hasn't, or he can put you on the reserve list. Right, now, um, obviously this weekend, Captain's Charity Day and Captain's Day at home, there's a few spaces left on the sheets, so if you do want to play, get your name down on those, and as I said earlier, uh, bound to be two good, uh, good days. Uh, right, thanks for watching. Thank you.